Hi, for the green top that I showed in my previous video, I'm going to purchase a matching yarn because I have to start making the sleeves. So today I'm going to show you how I purchase a yarn online and how I ensure that the colors are matching. So first I go to the website of Ice Yarns uh, and the website is called iceyarns.com. In the category section, I select spring or summer yarns and open it and I select uh, yarns from this uh, range. There is a big range here, around uh, 30 uh, type of yarns, summer yarns are here. Uh, there is another category uh, which is uh, limited edition spring yarns. From this range, which is also quite big, I select some yarns which match the color of my uh, cloth. Apart from that, I also type summer yarn and I select the color green. So these are the various uh, options that are there. I have selected the color green and then uh, from these, uh, this collection, I select uh, the yarn that is suitable for my requirement. Now these are the yarns that I picked and now what I do is I keep the cloth close to the screen and see how uh, it goes. These are the various uh, uh, type of yarns that I selected which were close to the piece of cloth that I have. Now I'm going to shortlist uh, from these uh, yarns, I'm going to shortlist what I'm going to select. So these are the uh, yarns that I've shortlisted. Let me move this a little closer here so that you can see. This one is 60% um, cotton and 40% acrylic. The size is good, it's just 3 mm. And 50 gram ball gives 160 meters. So it's, it's light, it's not very heavy. But the cost is around $9 for 8 items. So it's reasonable. But the problem is this looks a bit darker to me. So this is the first option. In the second option, this also looks a bit dark. The price is very reasonable. It's 100% cotton, uh, but it is quite light actually. 100 gram, oh sorry, it's, it's heavy because 100 gram ball is giving just 180 meters. So I think it will be like cotton which absorbs all the water and uh, I don't think that will be very comfortable. That's the second option. Now this is the third option. Here I have 50% bamboo and 50% viscose and it's around 3 to 4 mm which is fine and 100 gram ball is giving 230 meters which is also pretty good that means it's light and the price is pretty reasonable four items in eight dollars and each ball is 230 meters which is quite reasonable so i am i'm liking this option this is option number three option number four is this which is also pretty good 50% bamboo and 50% cotton and 3 mm 50 gram ball gives 140 meters which is also light but it's a bit costly it's around 11 dollars per eight items so it's going to be a bit costlier and the fifth option which is the last option is this one the color is quite matching the price is probably quite reasonable and uh, this is not very heavy this is 50 gram gives 175 meters and the price is pretty reasonable quite reasonable in fact seven dollars for eight items so this is one of the picks so i can either choose this one or this one I think I'm going to go for this one which is the option number three. So this is how I generally choose my yarn among all these choices. This was particularly a little tough because the color is quite unique and to get a really matching uh, yarn would, was a little difficult. Do let me know which option you thought was best. But when I add that to my bag, what is happening is uh, four items including the shipping is costing me around six sixteen dollars, so that will be one item will give uh, will cost me around four dollars. 
and that's not going to work out uh, for the end customer who's going to buy this so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to buy this one instead I'll go for this one which is also pretty good it also matches very well so the individual cost of this item is 87 cents and um, other things look fine like the mix or the size and the weight and it is eight items so I'm going to add this to the cart but if you see this this is not a regular thread it is flatter thread I have already used this once a long time back and it's very light and it's good it's not that bad it is pretty good so this time I'm going to try this let me refresh okay it already got refreshed so I'm going to remove the earlier one and if I just take this one the shipping and handling oh there are two packs I just need one pack so the shipping is around seven and a half dollars which is from TNT Express you also have DHL UPS and stuff so based upon the pricing you can choose I've chosen the uh, the least costliest one and the TNT Express delivered uh, to my address last time and it was it was fine it was delivered in two days so I think I'll go for this one because there are eight items for around fifteen dollars so that is going to cost me around two dollars per ball which is fine 